Hey, how you going? David Bartholomew's here. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a wedding DJ. I've DJed at nearly 800 weddings, and I've helped organise nearly 5,000 weddings for brides around Australia. So, I've been asked to give three tips to ensure that you glide down the aisle and back. So let's cut to the chase here. At no other time on your wedding day are your emotions going to be so highly charged as when you walk down the aisle. So, let's take some time to think about how to prepare for that walk. No matter how much you prepare for it, your aisle walk will most likely be the most moving experience of your life. And this is the thing about emotion. It's a beautiful thing, but when too much of it happens too quickly, it can become problematic. And, and yes, yes, any bride will be in the vast majority to hope that they and their loved ones would experience a great deal of emotion as they arrive at the ceremony. But I'm giving you the heads up right now, be super aware of the danger of emotional overwhelm. The danger is this, if you're overwhelmed with emotion, you risk compromising your whole experience of the day with all sorts of symptoms. I see dizziness, uncontrollable crying, I've heard brides just talk about the inability to speak, tripping over, fainting, all these sorts of things. So am I trying to scare you? I'm not. I'm really not trying to scare you here. Let me be clear. Emotion is very, very good. But when it comes on too fast and you have to be effective at the same time, you need to be prepared. And this is what I'm talking about is preparedness. So what I'm asking you to consider is not reducing the amount of emotion that you feel. If you prepare, then your emotion can build steadily. And as you walk down the aisle, you'll actually be able to experience a much higher level of emotion. And your body will be prepared and your brain will be prepared to experience probably the most emotional day of your life in a way that's really positive for you. So really what I'm trying to do is get you to take some actions now to prepare yourself for this moment of walking down the aisle. Now, preparing to walk down the aisle is actually super easy if you know how. So the first thing that I recommend is visualization. In the seven days leading up to your wedding, when you wake up in the morning, just take 15 minutes to just visualize yourself walking down the aisle and doing your vows and being at the ceremony and do it in graphic detail. So, you know, imagine the color of the grass and the smell of the flowers and, you know, who's chatting to who that should be concentrating and, and really, you know, the, the specific faces of people that will be looking at you. What this does, it allows your brain to process a lot of the emotion that you're going to be confronted with as you walk the aisle in advance. And the reason I recommend doing visualization as your number one thing, if you do nothing else, just visualize, is that it's a super nice feeling as well. So this is a gift that I'm giving you that gives during the visualizations and it'll also give on the day. It's super pleasant to do. Really think about visualizing your wedding day for those seven days before, just for 15 minutes. The second thing is to practice your vows with your groom. Now, this is a really good prophylactic, first of all, to make sure that your groom has had a chance to process some of the emotion because it's probably, you know, blokey bloke and, or, or whatever, and, he, and he's not necessarily had a chance to process a lot of this emotion. So it gives you a chance to know, first of all, your groom's going to be super comfortable with what's going on. Um, and secondly, once again, it allows you to just experience and process what's going to be going on and all those emotions that come out during the vows beforehand. The third thing I recommend is consider doing your reveal with your groom before you arrive at the ceremony. Seeing each other ready to go will allow you just a bit more time to process what's happening and to build your anticipation over a few hours rather than a few seconds. So that's your big three. Number one, visualizations. If you do nothing else, do those visualizations in those seven mornings before the big day. Number two, practice those vows with your groom. Then you've got a really good opportunity to make sure that you both are fully prepared. And number three, really consider doing that reveal before you arrive at the ceremony so that you guys are tight, together, and ready for that experience as you walk down the aisle.